Hey everyone, it's Ed Gatowski. What I wanted to do was to uh, just create a brief lecture where I talk about a little bit of shift in our class because what we're going to do for the next two weeks is we're going to work on something called flexible deadlines. And this is the first time that I've added flexible deadlines to class. And there, the reason why is there's some evidence to suggest that if you, as an instructor, allow for flexible deadlines, that students will end up taking, having feeling like they have a, more time to complete assignments, they won't feel as rushed, and in the end, they'll turn in really strong papers. Now, I've always been opposed to flexible deadlines because I think sort of it allows students to wait until the last minute to kind of complete the coursework, but I just wanted to apply it to our class, and then see how we do with flexible deadlines. So for the next two weeks, I've basically posted the agenda. And basically everything is due at the end of those two weeks. However, they have the normal set deadlines that we have. However, if you feel like you need a little more time maybe reading or a little more time writing a paper, you have that flexible deadline. You can turn it in early. Uh, you can take some time to proofread. Maybe you need a little more time reading to understand something. But everything, the final due date is at the end of two weeks. Um, and there's some small exceptions, right? Very small exceptions. And I've listed them in the module. But, for example, both the check-ins are due and set on Mondays, right? But you can get the two weeks that really quickly in uh, before they're due, right? And there might be some small other things I just want you to respond to, but just read over the module because I've explained, hey, this, these are the assignments that don't have those flexible deadlines. There is an academic article that I want you to kind of read over and respond that'll give you some background to flexible deadlines. But let's just check a look and see how it works out. And the other thing is um, some students had mentioned they're going to be out of town for the 4th of July weekend. And it just sort of coincidentally, I just said, hey, it's the 4th of July. Normally, if we were in a ground class, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have class on the 4th of July. And I, too, am going to be out of town for the 4th of July. So that week starting um, Monday up until right past the 4th of July, again, it'll be something similar to Camp Sacramento where I might have limited access to the Internet um, I'm not sure yet. And no, in Camp Sacramento, I did have some access to the Internet, and then I got kicked off. I could long on for about a half an hour and then get kicked off. I'm hoping that's not the case. But I will check in with you. Email me if you need anything. But I just wanted to give you up, just give you the heads up about uh, the next two weeks. The agenda has been posted. We're working on flexible deadlines. Uh, if you need anything, send me an email. And then also, because I had uh, office hours, I met th uh, three office hours last week. I won't be holding office hours this week. So the way to get a hold of me uh, next week is through email only. And if you have any questions, let me know, and we'll just kind of see how the idea of flexible deadlines works.